A Woman to Her Lover by Christina Walsh Do you come to me to bend me to your will, as conqueror to the vanquished, to make of me a bond-slave, to bear your children, wearing out my life in drudgery and silence? No servant will I be, if that be what you ask, O lover, I refuse you. Or if you think to wed with one from heaven sent, whose every deed and word and wish is golden, a wingless angel who can do no wrong, go. I am no doll to dress and sit for feeble worship. If that be what you ask, fool, I refuse you. Or if you think in me to find a creature who will have no greater joy than gratify your clamorous desire, my skin soft only for your fond caresses, my body supple only for your sense delight, O oh, shame and pity and abasement! Not for you the hand of any wakened woman of our time. But lover, if you ask of me that I shall be your comrade, friend and mate, to live and work, to love and die with you, that so together we may know the purity and height of passion, and of joy and sorrow, then, O oh husband, I am yours for ever, and our co-equal love will make the stars to laugh with joy, <coughs> and to its circling fugue pass, hand holding hand, until we reach the very heart of God. Okay, so... The first question is, who is this by? Many people attribute this poem to uh, somebody called Christina Walsh without the E, who was an 18th century uh, poet. However, um, there are others, and I think it much more likely, who ascribe this poem to Christina Walsh with an E, um, who was a poetess from the earliest early 20th century uh, from Cambridge okay um, if you look at the language and uh, the idea of in uh, uh, of enlightened women I think it's uh, m m much more appropriate to that that age um, so what's it about so a woman to her lover okay this is um, talking to somebody who wants to be her lover, who wants to be her soulmate, her partner, and she's describing the things that she doesn't want. So do you come to me to bend me to your will as conqueror to the vanquished, to make of me a bond slave? So, do you want to marry me? Do you want me to be a partner? For me to be your slave? For you to be my conqueror? And for me to do absolutely everything you say? To bear you children? To give you children? To wear out my life? To exhaust my life in drudgery and silence? In drudgery, boring, repetitive work and silence? So do you want me to do you want me to be with you because you're looking for a woman who will be your slave who will wash and cook for you who will look after your children who will be the slave in your house and do everything you ask and then she answers no servant will i be i'm not going to be that servant if that be what you ask, if you are asking me to be be this, O oh lover, I refuse you. I don't want you. 
Or if you think to wed with one from heaven sent, whose every deed and word and wish is golden, so do you want are you looking to marry somebody who is perfect somebody who you can idolize somebody who you put on a pedestal yeah and somebody who has to be perfect who is um the perfect um example of virtue and chastity and goodness yeah and every word and deed and wish everything that comes from me is golden a wingless angel who can do no wrong so do you want me to be an angel who can't mistake can't make mistakes she doesn't like this either go go away i'm no doll to dress and sit for feeble worship so i'm not a doll i'm not a barbie who you put your clothes on and put on a pedestal to imagine uh as somebody perfect i am a real person yeah i'm not somebody for you to worship if that be what you ask fool i refuse you so if you're looking for a partner like this no way i don't want you either or if you think in me to find a creature who will have no greater joy than gratify your clamorous desire so i think here she uh she's saying or oh, are you look looking for me uh do you want me to be your sex partner yeah somebody who is there to um uh, satisfy your every desire my skin only for your soft for your my my skin soft only for your fond caresses yeah so is my being to my being to satisfy you to satisfy your every desire to satisfy you sexually to be your prostitute my body supple only for your sense delight so my body is flexible but only for you yeah oh shame and pity and abasement so no i'm not I, i'm not going to be your sex doll i'm not going to be uh some some uh somebody who you uh marry because uh i'm i'm going to be your partner for sex no this would be shame this would be like prostitution yeah not for you the hand of any weakened wo sorry wakened woman of our time and i think this line here really gives away the when this was written yeah the hand of you you're not going i'm you're not going to be married by any wakened woman a woman who is awake who understands that women are equal and i think this if this were an 18th century poem this is very very avant-garde but it fits much much better with early 20th century with the suffragettes and things like that so she's saying that ah uh, i will not be i will not marry you for this but love her and now she talks about what she really does want if you ask me that i shall be your comrade friend and mate to live and work to love and die with you so if you ask me to be your companion your friend your partner to share everything with you to love with you to die with you so that we so that so together we may know the purity and height of passion and of joy and sorrow so that we can live together and we can know the heights of passion and what joy means and we share everything the good things and the bad things then husband then oh husband i am yours forever so she wants somebody who's a partner that they are completely equal and our co-equal love this is very early 20th century as well will make the stars to laugh with joy so the equality of our love will make the universe happy and to its circling fugue pass hand holding hand until we reach the very heart of god so 
this will make the universe happy and the circling universe we will be part of the universe and the universe will be happy because things are equal there is a uh, a constancy and like this we will actually reach the heart of god i also think it's interesting god here in uh a small letter as opposed to capital so it's saying of any god that may exist of the gods that 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 you may believe in so enough if you enjoyed the poem give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now a woman to her lover by christina walsh